Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be looking at the little Esheen Zero and how to calm down the expert mode so that it's easier to fly. This was prompted by an email conversation I've been having with a chap called Travis. Uh, Travis uh, likes flying these uh, little ready to fly war warbirds, now has a TX-12 and was trying to work out how to add Expo uh, in expert mode. Uh, and I've been trying to talk him through it but it's probably easier to show it in a video anyway. Now the clever viewers will be noting that uh, you can't fly the uh, little ready-to-fly Esheen Warbirds with the TX-12 um, CC2500 version and that's absolutely true but um, Travis has the Express LRS version with a 4-in-1 module in the back so the 4-in-1 module does support the uh, V761 protocol that these, these sorts of planes run on. Now, with these little planes, uh, they have a gyro and they have three modes. They have beginner's mode, which is uh, gyro on and limited bank and pitch angles. So you can't do loops and rolls. Then there's a mid mode, which is the gyro on, uh, but with no limit. So you can do loops and rolls. And then there's the expert mode, which is totally manual, no gyro. Uh, and you're basically on your own to control it. And the problem is the control surface throws us a, a way too big to be able to fly it in expert mode. Uh, even I have been pretty unsuccessful trying to fly them as they are in uh, manual mode or expert mode. So what we need to do is reduce the throws or add some expo uh, to calm down the uh, performance in expert mode. And we only want the reduced rates and expo in expert mode because we need the full throws to get the gyro to work properly in the beginner mode and mid mode. Now these little planes have a receiver that uses the V7614 channel protocol. So if you go over to the multi-module website, we can have a look at a few more details about that particular protocol. This is the multi-module.org website and it'll give you the details about all the different protocols that the uh, multi-module uh, RF modules use. And if we Click on the V761, we get the details. Uh, here's the gyro information. So uh, let's uh, first have a look down here. There's two sub protocols, uh, three channel, but that's not for us. We want the four channel, which has aileron channel one, elevator channel two, throttle channel three, rudder channel four, and gyro on channel five. And if we scroll up here, channel five in minus 100 is beginner mode, zero is mid mode, plus 100 is expert mode. That's what we need to know. Okay, so I've got my mode switches, this one here, uh, and at the moment in the up position that's in beginner mode, so you can see we've got big control surface throws, and if we roll over you can see uh, you, the ailerons compensate, rudder and elevator compensate as well. Same in the mid mode. And in expert mode we still get those enormous control surface throws which make it very hard to fly. We want to reduce that right down, so here we go. All right, we'll go and set up a new model now. Set it up from scratch. So we scroll down to a clear model spot, push the scroll wheel, create model. And there we have model number nine, and that is basically the model is created, and you could actually go and fly now. It'll be stuck in uh, mid mode, I think because we haven't set up the mode switch, but anyway. It's page across, give it a name, we'll call it uh, the zero. And now we'll bind it. Uh, so we have internal and external modules. Now, as I said, Travis has the uh, external module as his four in one. So let's uh, pretend we've got the same, switch it to module to multi. So now we can go and choose the appropriate protocol and that is the V761 as I said before. There it is there and there's the three channel and the four channel version. We need the four channel. Just click it to choose that. So there we've set up the uh, correct um, protocol now. So now we'll go across and you can see just by setting up that model it is it is put in four inputs, add-on, elevator, throttle, rudder inputs. We go across to the mixer page and those inputs have been brought in channel one, 100% aileron input, channel two, blah, blah. You see what, see what I mean. Uh, first thing we need to do is set up a mode switch now. Mode switch is on channel five. So click on that line. Can give the mixer name. Let's choose the source. You 
get that flashing, click on it to get it flashing, and then you can just flick the switch that you want to use. So I'm using the C switch, so if I flick that while that source selection is flashing, it has chosen the SC switch. And C is a three position switch, so that automatically gives us uh, beginner mode, mid mode, and expert mode. Let's go and have a look in the uh, display here. You can display all the channels on the screen. There are lots of different sorts of displays you can have, but uh, this is the one I like. Uh, and you may see across the top there are four different screens within this display screen, but this is the first screen, and this shows channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, and channel five. You can see the uh, mode switch switching there. And as we saw on the website, minus 100 beginner mode, zero mid mode, plus 100 is expert mode. So what we're trying to do is introduce rates and expo or reduced control surface throws only when the switch is in the down position like that. Here's how we do it. There's a few different ways. So click on model, page across to the mixer page. Now what Travis was doing was just trying to add expo into the mode switch, but that doesn't do anything to the control surfaces. That's only affecting the mode switch. So what we need to do is click on this line for ailerons in channel one, scroll down to copy that line down, and that gives us another line added to the first one. And then we'll go in and edit that line. Edit. What we can do now is reduce the weight of this line. Say so reduce it down to 50, and that will give us 50% of the full aileron throw. We can also introduce Expo here as well. If you don't know what rates and Expo do, then uh, there are plenty of videos on YouTube about that. Go and, uh, go and find out, out about what they mean. So under Curve, we can choose Differential or Expo. There's Expo. And we'll add about, uh, say, 25% Expo. And if we keep scrolling down further, now we can choose the switch position. Get that flicking, put the switch down in the down position or the expert mode position, and that gives us SC in the down position. Now that's not going to work yet because that line is actually adding to the previous line, so it's giving us actually 150% of aileron throw when the uh, SC C switch is in the down position and the expo will be swallowed up in that. So what we need to do is actually change this line so that it replaces the above line. So I'm going to edit that line again, scroll down further, and we get this line called multiplex. This is where we get to choose whether you want to add, multiply, or replace. So we'll choose replace. And what that does now is, when the C switch is in the down position, this line will, will replace the other line. In the other two positions, it uses the 100% aileron. In the down position, it uses 50% aileron with 25% uh, expo. So that's basically what we need to do. Uh, so that's the ailerons. Let's then do that for the elevator and rudder. And a quick way to do this is grab that line, just highlight it, scroll down, and we can copy that line down. Click to pop it in there. And we just need to change that input from aileron to elevator. So click and hold to edit, go down to aileron, flick the elevator lever, and it changes the input to elevator. Do the same for rudder. We'll grab this line, scroll down to copy it down, pop it under rudder, click again to put it there, click and hold to edit, and change the input to rudder. So now we have 100% ailerons in the SC in the, the top position, which is beginner, and in the middle position, which is mid. 50% aileron with expo when the C switch is in the down position or in expert mode. Okay, so I'll show you what that actually looks like now. I am using my boxer radio for the demonstration. So there we have full aileron movement, which is a lot in beginner mode, but that's taken care of by the gyros. Same in mid mode. But when we switch to expert mode, the SC switch all the way down, you can see the control surface movement is a lot smoother and a lot smaller as well. So that should be a lot easier to fly in expert mode. So I hope that makes sense. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.